one of the most important things that I learned this year mostly and implemented it into my mindset and life is who cares the least about something has the most power over it. Because if you are in like a relationship with a girlfriend or you are maybe in a friendship or maybe uh, you are working with a client, uh, if you are the person who needs the other person the least, maybe you care the least about the whole thing, you have the most power and control over it. You shouldn't use this in a like a serious relationship where the relationship is fully loving. You maybe even consider to marry that person uh, and maybe like family relationship. Don't don't do this. But uh, you are probably going to work with some like clients or to work a job maybe for a boss or these kinds of things. In these kinds of situations, uh, the less you care and you just like don't really care if you are going to leave tomorrow. You can leave if you want. Uh, you have the most power. But if you care the most in that kind of situation, you have the least power and someone is controlling you probably. This is also when, for example, you are trying to get a girl. And if the girl doesn't really care about you, but you care about her so much, you want to get her so much, she can literally play with you. She can do whatever she wants because uh, she has you literally in her, in her hand. Because basically... You want her so badly, she doesn't care, so she can control you. And it works like this all the time. If you had a client or like a warm lead, like a person that you wanted to sell to, you don't really care. For example, your income right now is like 10k a month. And if you close that client, it will be 11k a month. You don't really give a fuck. It's not a massive difference. And so in that case, you will be much more calm actually talking to the person and selling and you won't be negotiating. If the person doesn't want the offer, you, you will just walk away. And then you have the power. Because the client probably, like the potential client, wants your product more than you want that client. Because you don't really care. Well, the client maybe cares more. Well, if you had zero right now and you wanted to sell a $1,000 product and go from zero to a 1000 that's a whole other story. Even though it's the same product, is the same price. But right now you care the most. And you are so probably anxious, like, oh, holy shit, if I sell this, it will change my life or whatever. And you will negotiate. If that person says, like, oh, this is a high price, can you do, like, 500? You will probably accept. Even though the product is maybe truly worth a 1,000. And you will accept two times lower price just because you cared so much. While the person who was already earning a lot would just say, fuck off. And then the client would accept and say, yeah, I guess I need this. So a thousand, let's do it. So uh, who, I think Donald Trump says this in his book, uh, The Art of the Deal. Uh, if you want to negotiate, you want you need to be ready to walk away, something like this. And this works in all kinds of situations in life. So be it a relationship with a girl or a business deal or whatever, you need to be ready to walk away. And then uh, you have the full power. So if the girl is like, she's, uh, she maybe cheated on you or she does some stupid shit and you are ready to walk away. You just aren't that kind of person who will just say whatever, yeah, I still love you, babe, or something. And you are just going to say like, fuck that, I'm going to leave. You have the power uh, in that kind of relationship, which is perfectly good because you are ready to walk away and then the other person won't mess around with you. But if the other person controls you and sees you, sees that you need her, then she can do whatever she wants and you won't be able to leave. So yeah, that's a mindset that you need to accept if you want to have more power in general and to feel more powerful. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. See you tomorrow.